19-year-old Sky Ward is the first ever top matriculant of the University of the West Indies Five Islands campus. She tells ABS she only became aware of her accomplishment three days before the matriculation ceremony back in September. My name will forever be at the top of the books and um, I think that will be an encouragement to my younger siblings and other family members, something to look forward to, something to motivate them, knowing that I was the first and it just pushes them to to follow my footsteps. So I was very happy about that. Majoring in economics with management, Ward says her ultimate goal is to make a meaningful difference here in Antigua and Barbuda. I want to become a policy analyst. Now all of that is just a fancy term for someone who creates policies based on research. The closest thing to a policy analyst would be a senator. I feel that would be most effective in making a change. She says her joy for helping stemmed from her time as a member of the Antigua Girls High School and Antigua Grammar School Interact Club. I feel the joy of giving someone something they would not have had without my help. And I realized that, you know, I think this is what I want to do. This may possibly be my calling. Prior to enrolling at the Five Islands campus, Ward graduated from Antigua State College. I wouldn't say anything really motivated me. It felt natural. It was the next step in my educational journey. And again, it is here. So what a better place to be than in my home. She graduated with high honors, a cumulated GPA of 4.02. I think that any educational institution you attend, it can either be a waste of your time or it won't, obviously. It depends on what you do, the work that you put in and what you take away. And I've decided to use my time wisely there and here I am now. The top matriculant says she has five younger siblings and will be the first person in her mother's family to attain a university degree. So during the ceremony, you singled out two persons. Yes, my aunt mom and, and my aunt. Those are one of my biggest supporters in my family circle. They have always encouraged me to be the best that I can be and not to look at anyone else in terms of comparison, because you know, comparison is a thief of joy, but if I want to be better, the only person who I'm competing with is myself, and I think that has definitely pushed me to be where I am. She says she also has a number of friends who've been with her on this journey since her time as a lady in blue. Again, it all goes back to my support system. I don't think I would have been able to achieve what I have so far without them. In times where I feel like I'm stressed or like I can't do this, I just look to them and they look to me likewise. So iron sharp iron, we lean on each other and I believe we'll get through this together. The journey ahead is long and arduous. But Ward is ready. I want to go further. Development is not a end point, but it's a journey. And as far as I can go on that journey, that's exactly what I want to do, what I want to be, and that's what I'm looking forward to. So as far as you're concerned, the sky is the limit? The sky is the limit, the galaxy, everything after that. The ambitious young woman believes youth are not the leaders of tomorrow, but rather the leaders of today. Rakib Aparisi reporting for ABS News.